13, 14, 15, a gorillion. <laughs> okay, and here we have Cereza versus Andy. Cereza, of course, being president of the society, and Andy being a ringer we brought in from Sunderland who knows nothing of Pokemon. Okay, we've got... We have a Jolteon against a Ninjask. Of course I say Jolteon, it's in fact a Nidoking. It happens to be called Jolteon. Luke using the amazing naming meta of calling his Pokemon the names of other Pokemon on his team. And here we have Babemon to announce what happened to Sam's team. It got beaten by a Yu-Yu! Sam was beaten by a Yu-Yu team whilst using legendary dogs. This is most amusing. Okay, we've started out with Ninja set up on the Nido King, going for the substitutes. Of course, substitutes die, but it guarantees speed boosts. Gonzalez, Mexican Ninja. Mexican Ninjas, stealthy with cojones. Useful to have. And another substitute, of course, because the first one dies, guaranteeing another speed boost. Nido King with no priority moves to stop this. Stone Edge with the one hit, but Stone Edge doesn't have 100% accuracy, so Andy could in fact get lucky and manage to get a sword stance in with his Ninjask. And cheek to see as to what Andy wants to set up here, as he has a few potential candidates which can quite safely switch into a Nido King, assuming it doesn't switch out. Of course, switching out not the best idea, because that also gives Andy a safe sword stance. Oh, Luke making the mistake of trying to Earthquake a flying Pokémon! That, that was somewhat foolish, but what you'd expect... I can only assume he mishit his DS due to not being able to see it due to his girly hair. <laughs> this has been a real problem for Luke in past tournaments, going out due to girly hair and other things involving his vagina. Oh, and he switches, which gives Andy another safe sword stance. But Machamp has the advantage of a priority move, which could well shut down this Ninjask setup. Is Luke smart enough to use it, though, is the real question. Only time will tell. Time, of course, the only thing that defeats all. Hence, why Dialga's banned, being the Time Dragon. True story. Oh, he gets another sword stance in. Luke forgetting that he has a priority move to shut down the substitute. Unless he plans on one-shotting it and then bullet punching the next turn. Oh, he dynamic punches, not knowing that you can't status effect substitutes. This is a lot of errors. Oh, the substitute survived! Yet another sword stance for the substitute, giving it six raises. We have a six raise speed and attack substitute. I can only assume this is going to be a clean sweep after this. It's a very highly boost Teddy right there. <laughs> that is perhaps the strongest Teddy I've ever seen in my life. Now, if Luke plays this right, he could well save himself. But this is a 6 6 ninja ask about to baton pass. He could always set up another substitute as well, hoping to pass the substitute with it, which would frankly be the most ridiculous thing in the world. If Luke tries to predict the switch, yes, he uses another substitute. Shimmy Luke might have predicted the switch and confused his new Pokemon, because confused 6 6 would be bad. Very bad. Hit yourself once, you one hit yourself. It would turn into coin toss. The substitute survives. Oh, Andy's got like the best setup you could possibly hope for here. What will he be changing into? And here's the baton pass. We get to see what Andy wants to use. This could well be the end of the tournament for Luke. Oh, and he sends out a cave demon. Hoping Luke has some form of snake Pokemon on his team. Because as we all know, Kenyan mangrove crabs are in fact the hard counter to snakes. If you're intrigued by that reference, look up Metal Gear Crab Battle. We now officially have a crab battle on our hands. And the crab happens to be 6-6 six, six speed attack. 
Oh, it uses return for some reason. <laughs> of course, it's a 100% accuracy move on 6-6, yes. I can only assume this is absolute GG. Andy has won. Kingler, of course, having, I think it's 130 or 140 base attack. Either way, it's somewhat ridiculous. With six stages raise and six stages raise on speed. It's going to outspeed anything that's sent out and one-shot them. It's 140 base attack. Oh, and he's continuing to use return for the 100% actually. I only hope Kingdra is a big fan of Andy. I imagine so with all the stat raises he's given him. If someone gave me all those stat races, I'd probably like them a lot and use a good return base power. This is really is just a formality now of Luke sending Pokemon out to be destroyed by the KD. After this, I assume it'll be rewarded with a cookie, as that's all it ever says if you've seen the anime. Kingler, big lover of cookies. I feel like Luke's mistake was letting the ninjas completely set up. This could well have been the problem with his strategy. Although if he does ever kill it, it'll get turned into a ration which he'll be able to eat. Of course, if you haven't seen Metal, if you haven't played Metal Gear Solid 3 or seen Metal Gear Crab Battle, you have no idea what I'm talking about and find none of the things I'm saying funny. Go watch it now. Yes, Alakazam, very squishy. Probably not going to stand up to a cave demon. It can destroy a knife. Spoon's probably less effective. We can only hope Luke has a priority electric or grass move. Oh, wait, no, they don't exist. Yeah. There is none in Gen 5. Jolteon's quite fast, there's a chance he might die here. Yes. Oh wait, it's an inner king, never mind. Oh, he uses Sucker Punch, the priority was being attacking. Unfortunately, Kingdra has high defense. If that was a priority special move, it might have worked. Unfortunately, there's no priority special move either. And continues with the return. Is the King of Choice banded? Because if so, this is ridiculous. Okay, it's apparently a Choice banded Kingler. So that gives it an extra 50% on physical on top of its six stage double boosts. It's been poisoned, maybe he'll slowly die in the time it takes for him to kill a Jolteon. Jolteon, really tanky Pokemon. Jolteon has perhaps the highest defense out of any Pokemon in the game. This is a 6-0 sweep by a cave demon. <laughs> And there we go with a crit at the end just to rub it in <laughs> while the Kingler earns its cookies. And that's GG to Andy, the Sunderland Sweeper.